It's good to be together again. And uh, one more time, we have the opportunity to go out and uh, help people understand more about our fabulous unfranchised marketing app. Uh, Jim, uh, how was your time between these last two weeks? Did you learn something new? How, how was your usage going there? The usage has been great. I'm using it more and more. Um, initially, when you and I really dug in and started using it a, a lot, we, I know I personally was sending out samples to customers, doing it through, through our back office on franchise.com as well. But now I'm starting to use it a lot more with prospects sending the videos, Dennis, from our unfranchise uh, business part of it, which JJ, of course, was showing us how to do that. And I, I got to read something to you. I wanted to read this. This was from one of my customers. I sent the, um, the uh, Daily Essentials packets to, and it said, hey, Jim, thank you so much for the gift you're sending. You are the best. Um, cause you know, the, the email says I'll be sending you a gift. And then I had texted her telling her what it was. And I thought that was great to grab a, to get a text back, uh, like that. She already knew what was coming, but she was excited. About it. And that's the power of this, but it's not just doing the, the letter, right? JJ, it's, it's texting and following up in person. Exactly. You know, no, it, the app's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, but we know how important it is to combine that with the relationship part of the business that we know is important and the app will help support that process with follow-ups and, and prompts to do certain things. And so we're excited to be able to show some of these things and hopefully some of the, you know, the, the same things we'll cover that we did last time, but I'm sure there'll be a few tidbits here that you also learned that some of the more advanced things. Um, so this will be great if you're back with us again for the second round, or if you're brand new, this will serve you all well. Dennis, how have your two weeks been using uh, it? You know, I, I've been really good. Now I've got eight samplings out. I've heard back from two that are going to buy, but I just got one from my uh, new customer up in Michigan who sends me a picture of her just finishing her first sample, but oh, it's nice. snowing awesome. in the back. It's, you know, and it's really funny. And she says, it's not bad. You know, I said, well, <laughs> wait till you get to the third day it's really going to be good uh you won't be able to live without it but it's sort of fun to really have this type of interaction and again jim you know and jj i've learned that in working with this sampling process you have to have a little bit of a relationship and, and letting people know like i let andrea know that i was going to be sending something up and that it was good for her that she needed to pay close attention and it's sort of like coaching you know yeah. it's sort of cool Mm -hmm. But uh, the amount of response just continues to go up. So I'm really pleased for us to get back here, as Jim was saying, for round two. And by the way, everyone, we're going to be doing this in another two weeks and another two weeks, you know, going into the World Conference so that we get good at this. So don't get frustrated. You know, there's always a solution to get you to where you have to go. Um, I do have to tell you one thing. Um, I thought I broke my app. JJ, uh -oh. um, I was playing with buttons and it was in the in <laughs> process of me going with one of my teammates, showing them how to use it. And I lost, I lost it. And I said, Oh my gosh, how do I find it back? You know, and I don't know if there's anybody out there that ever has that technology with your computer or your app. But what I ended up doing was I actually had to delete the app and then go back and bring it up from the app store. And I'm saying, mm -hmm. oh, wow, do I got to go through this whole process? And as soon as I brought it back up, I just entered in my unfranchised rep ID and my password and bam, everything was back. And it was so good. And it's almost, it's indestructible. I was just like, <laughs> really good about that. You know, you, you proved you can delete it and still have all your info in there when you get it back, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but that stuff makes me so nervous. Like, oh, I take all my time, but yeah, it's great. Good job, good job. It, yeah. All right, well, we I'm going to bring up uh, the uh, screen and we'll talk a little bit about uh, our program here together, and then uh, we'll go ahead and jump in and bring in the, the app, uh, app part of this so that we can really basically just start showing you all the good things that can do and go back through and review everything. Um, the subtitles are currently, uh, uh, aren't currently available. That's an interesting sign. Okay. Um, does that show up on your screen too, Jim? Yeah, we can see it too. Okay. So I have to restart the PowerPoint to get the subtitles going. 
that's really technical stuff. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about the Unfranchised Marketing App, and this is a tool that we introduced at our international convention. Uh, pretty big splash, eh, Jim? It was a very big splash, and, <laughs> and we're adding a lot, and it's going to be a big splash of World Conference. So what we're trying to do now is get everybody using this and trained with it. So you'll want to make sure to get your people on here while we're doing this. That's going to be a key. It's great you're seeing it, and as you bring new people in, this will be great for them to see it as well. Absolutely. And again, we're talking about not only the app, but the sampling program, which is just so really important. So many good things come about just exposing your business, your products. And of course, we know that developing customers helps you get to the base 10. Once you're at the base 10, you start moving on the seven strong. And before you know it, you're moving to become a master on franchise owner. Uh, it's really exciting to see how it's been going. Um, Jim, why don't you tell them how to get the app? So right off the beginning, everybody that doesn't have one, you can go back and write this down so you know how to get it. Yeah, and, and this is so easy. You can order the app at unfranchise.com. It's code 5510. If you search on franchise marketing, it'll, it'll pop right up. Uh, you'll receive a link to download it. Uh, it's a, an entire $12 a year. Um, so what is that? That's like two coffees or something like that for those mm -hmm. Starbucks lovers out here that you, you can get this app and it's good for the year. And once you install it, you log in with your, your regular unfranchise.com login credentials to get started. That's how simple it is. And then you've got it ready to go. And, and here we go. Uh, and it is great to have. Once you have it, you start playing with this, you are going to have a, a, a lot of fun. Absolutely. So if you don't have the app, make sure you write the code down and then you'll go afterwards and be able to put that into play. I just want to remind you one of the most important things and a lot of what's behind here and what's been developed is all about the psychology of sampling. And it has been proven through studies and many of the large box stores have done different sampling programs. I think you all have heard of Costco or Sam's you'll see that they're actually giving samples out. And we also found in studies something called reciprocity. And this simply is that if someone does something for you, there's this big urge, you know, this feeling that I'm going to feel like I need to do something back. And I think all of you have been uh, through an experience where somebody did something kind for you and you wanted to reciprocate. So that's what the reciprocity is talking about. Uh, then when you start thinking about trying something, and this is something with dark chocolate, ever since, uh, you know, I'm very much involved with the TLS weight loss solution and dark chocolate actually is a better chocolate than milk chocolate for you to have. But cravings, when you try something, and it's something like Andrea up in Michigan, when she had her first uh, isotonics, she really liked the taste. And now I said, wait till the third day, knowing that she's going to get used to that taste, but you give a little bit and then they want more. Um, it's just so, so, it's so smart. It, it's just so perfect. So really the psychology of sampling builds everything behind these trial size packets that we have been so successful with. Now we needed a better way for you to get them out there. And you can send samples directly from the app, which is, is a great way to do it. Uh, social media tools to be able to do it, which uh, was really interesting for, for Dennis and I to, to pick up and be able to do that. So there's some great sample programs to be able to, to use through social media. And then you track it. And one, one of the things I love about this, Dennis, is when I get that email saying, okay, uh, the, the, the samples left, uh, okay, the, the sample's on its way. Send your second text. Okay, the sample's there. Send your next text. It, it's telling me to, what to do with it, even though it's sending the, the person an email at the same time. It's so true. It's with the whole coaching thing. You know, in the beginning, you have to be directed until you do it so many times, then it becomes second nature. Yes. And I just want everybody to feel really comfortable about this. So this tool, when it comes to sampling, 
offers three different ways that we'll be talking about and showing you tonight. So it's really important that you pick this up. One is your ability to meet someone and be able to take their details and send them out immediately from your phone a sample, a three-day sample of today, the daily essentials. Good news, there'll be more products coming out as we get into the World Conference. You don't want to miss that. Uh, they'll be coming out in the sampling sizes. Then at the same time, you can also set it up to where you can offer a free sample run it through your websites or basically through social media where you provide the sample and the client, the potential client would actually pay for shipping and handling. And the other nice thing is, is in this process, it really always deflects them back to your personal web sample website that's set up on your behalf when you get the app. And then there's the hand delivering samples. And while we haven't been out face to face with a lot of new people these days, it's going to come back and we'll, we'll be out there, but you'd be surprised. The essential shopping, you know, JJ and, and Jim, that we still go out, we still need, you know, to get to the grocery stores. We still are going to the doctor's offices. We're still going to different places. Um, even in most cases around here, a lot of the schools, but uh, you know, there's still opportunities. And, so and that's only going to grow, Dennis. You're right. As, as it continues to open up, that's only going to be more and, and more. And, you know, one of the other things I know you and I uh, really love is the fact that we can, when we have a customer who orders, say it's through iTransact or, or whatever it may be, and, it, and, you know, we get that notification to send it from our back office. And all of a sudden it pops up and it says, do you want to send a a, a sample to them. I, I love that coming out. It can send a sample and a catalog if I want to, uh, to send to them when I've, I've got somebody ordered. So that's another huge advantage with this. Well, that's one of the things that I love about this is that we're learning as you know, we're learning and we're earning in the process. Mm -hmm. But when you start thinking about these things that we keep refining, it's something that we both teach when we're out there. It's repetition leads to consistency and the consistency leads to the greatness and how fast you're able to turn this around. And before you know it, it's not going to be checking, you know, what's your social media. You're going to be checking your feed and you'll learn more yeah. about that uh, as we go on here. Um, but again, we look at these things, look at this beautiful packaging, all the trial size sampling that will be coming out with, will have beautiful packaging. I've been privy to see the next two samplings that are coming out that you'll be introduced to come uh, World Conference. But the nice thing about this, it all comes very nicely in that sampler. And how about that letter, Jim? Isn't that, I, they, we personalize a letter. It's just like, wow. And, and, it's, and it's signed by you when it gets to them. Uh, it's got everything on there. I mean, this thing, it's, it's just so easy. I think the, the, the thing, the hardest thing, Dennis, is people think it's so easy they don't have to follow up or do anything. And that's where I know tonight we're going to talk with JJ on best practices to do that and how to do it. You and I have learned that. Mm -hmm. uh, already doing this that you know we need you got to stay up to date like you said on uh, on the things that are coming on but it's all put together it's got the return address on there uh fast professional delivery to them i mean what more could you ask for if, if you were starting a business think about this if you were and saying i'm going to set this up what would it cost you to set this up to send out to people and well, you know we've got it for an app for 12 dollars a year it's, it's almost it's crazy yeah. It is. It's, it's a great, great value. And everyone that's an unfranchised owner, considering to be an unfranchised owner, needs to have this as one of your tools. And I want to answer one of the questions from our last time we were together. Uh, the question was, can I send it by text instead of email? And the answer is absolutely. You have that option at all times. Uh, on there and we'll show you exactly where that option comes out this evening. But it's fast professional delivery for your prospects. And, and let me just say this, we're learning. Um, some of you, and I'm gonna say this up front so you understand this, some of you experienced a little bit of slowness uh, uh, in getting to your client that you sent a sample to. And I'm gonna tell you why. The holidays, number one, really slowed down our kickoff into this and also COVID. Uh, was really devastating to uh, transportation and delivery. Um, so I just want you to know that is improving rapidly. Uh, samples are arriving more 
quickly than ever, which is great. Um, and it's only going to get better because we're exploring even now options in which we can improve the speed. And uh, it's going to be nice as we continue to what? Refine the process and get better after it. Yeah, and good for all the unfranchised owners to know, Dennis, that it may take a few days to get there as well. So their expectations meet with, with what's going on in the world today. You know, um, it, it's, it's very different than a year ago. Yes. Yeah, and just to add to that, Jim, it's it, the USPS is what it is. It's, we're using USPS to ship this out. What we're doing is we're getting it from the day that it's ordered to the time it ships. That's within one business day. And then it's in the hands of USPS. And like you mentioned, Dennis, the, you know, between COVID and then compound that with the, the rush of what happened over the last six weeks with the holiday season, we have seen, a, a, you know, an improvement in the last oh, two, three weeks. And so we're, we're feeling optimistic. And like I said, we're making every effort we can in, in ensuring that these samples are getting delivered in a timely manner. But I agree, Jim, that's a good comment. Set expectations. It's coming. It's not coming through overnight FedEx or UPS. This is coming through the USPS Postal Service. And this will be something that will get delivered, you know, depending on where the, that person lives, anywhere between two to up to, you know, eight or nine or even 10 days, depending if they're in the outskirts of, of a small city or something like that. You know, also one other thing I learned the hard way when I submitted a uh, sampling to go out Friday evening. It, you know, I was expecting it to go out that next morning, but it really went out on Monday. So watch the way you count. And I think, again, I'll just reinforce what JJ reinforced through Jim, manage the expectations. Uh, but the good news is we'll talk about how you'll be able to continue to educate the potential customer during the process of it arriving at their homes, okay? Uh, we believe in this. We all have been trained on this. The fortune's in the follow-up. And, you know, while the app is absolutely fabulous and reminding what you need to do, you still have to do it. Um, I remember, Jim, you did a, a training that it really came down. There's no secret sauce. It's just massive action. Take massive action. Uh, it's and no different with this. It's just take. And you and I have experienced it, Dennis. We just said one day we got mad at ourselves and said, hey, we're going to really dig into this sucker. And the only way to do it is to do it. Yes. And, and that's what I would suggest for everybody here. But, you know, as Dennis and I were talking, this is so much more. I mean, our, our theme for the year is base 10, seven strong, moving into to a master UFO. Well, this gets that base 10 going, but I, I want you to understand, this is also a prospecting machine because people want to know they've got technology behind what they're doing in the business. And this gives that. And in today's generation, obviously, we do everything through our apps. And with an app like this, it puts us in a great position as we're talking to people. So not only is it retailing, it's prospecting and showing how the company's moving forward into the future the correct way. Perfect. And ultimately, with the follow-up, bam, the sample goes up, the prospect gets it. Now with the drip and now the emails and now the call, bam, you're closer to a new client. And then who knows, maybe they'll go for the auto shipments and get that extra 5% discount. But it's exciting to know the conversion is so much higher than just handing off a sample while you're passing by or even you can cover so much more ground than what we were normally doing, having a get together at the house. So again, we see a lot more conversions happening. I'll share a few emails with you later in the, I wanna say show, but in the training, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's, let's go to JJ, our expert online. Um, JJ, I'm going to get as good as you doing this. Uh, I'm going to keep <laughs> hey, going. You're, you're getting there. I love the fact that, that, that you and Jim are in the trenches every single day. And I love your commitment. You're saying, hey, guys, we're going to lead by example, you know, and we're going to get in and we're going to use this. And I think that you found is, you know, some of the basic principles of, you know, what we know works within this industry. We, we need to remember those things, that high tech, high touch approach. We talk about, you know, we know this is a relationship driven uh, approach to, to be successful. We know that uh, although combining it with technology and what's there, you know, I liken it to 
the olden days of plowing a farm field with a horse, you know, and then a tractor is probably a better way of doing that with a huge plow behind it. Now I can do it twice as fast or 10 times as fast as I could. And so <clears throat> I think those that embrace technology and then combine it with a high touch approach uh, is, is what's really needed to be successful. So today, what I'd like to do is spend time talking through what I would call a day in the life of an unfranchised business owner, right? We, we want you guys, in a, you guys, we want you guys kind of seeing, okay, how, what could I be doing on a daily basis? What, what kind of activities or massive action could I do daily that would result in me having greater success in the business? And so that's some of the things that I'll cover today. And um, like I said, for those of you that were part of this discussion, um, you know, we had a couple of weeks ago, we're going to be consistent in training and, and, and educating you and, and sharing tips on how to be successful in doing this. And I'm going to start by coming up here to where the settings are. Um, we want to make sure that the, you're, you're utilizing the full capacity of the app. And there's some basic things inside of settings that we want to make sure that you have, um, you know, set up properly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to where your settings are. Inside of your settings, one of the, the key features of the app is it will provide you some important alerts, letting you know when a contact received a sample, letting you know when a contact watched a video or a PDF that you shared with them, and it'll prompt you to do certain things. So in order for that to happen, inside of settings, you need to make sure that your notifications, if you tap on this button right there, just make sure that this green button is turned on. If it's off, you won't take advantage of a lot of the benefits of the app. So want to make sure that this is turned on. Most of you probably left it on from the time you logged in, but just ensure that that's turned on. The next thing I want to just quickly highlight while we're inside of this section is if this little support tab right below notifications, this support button. If you ever want to provide feedback, if you have a problem or a, or a question, reach out to us through these two buttons and we can support you um, real, real easily from that standpoint. Now, finally, the last thing I want to share with you is the My Info button that's right here. So you'll want to click on that and make sure that your contact information is all there. And if you tap on the photo that's right there, it allows you to either take a photo or choose a photo from your library and make sure you have your photo up there. Um, it'll, it's, it's going to be delivered in emails. Anytime that you share a video with the contact, they're going to be able to see your picture. And so make sure that you have that, that photo uploaded within the app and that will just make it a much more professional experience overall. So that's some of the basic things as it relates to the, 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 uh, your profile and some of the basic settings that we want to make sure are turned on properly. The next thing I want to talk about is a very important feature that we call pull to refresh. So pull to refresh works in two different places in the app. Here within the, the media library, as you notice down here, we're inside of the media. And inside of the media, if I wanna make sure that I have the most current and updated videos and PDFs and assets that are constantly being added into the system, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I have um, pull to refresh this section. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply pull down on the screen. As you'll notice here, I'm just dragging down and it's going to prompt a pull to refresh. And I'm just going to simply let go. Pull down, let go, and that's going to refresh. And all of the updates and new content are going to be there for me. So if it's me, I'm going to be doing that frequently throughout the week to ensure that I have the most updated assets. That feature of pull to refresh also works inside of your contacts. So as you go through the process of being able to share information with people, you're going to be asked to sync your contacts in this part of the app. So we're down here in contacts and I've already synced all my contacts and the app allows you to do it two ways. You can either sync them individually one by one, or I can actually sync all of them. And I find it easier to sync all of my contacts. So if you look on this little sync device contacts, you can either sync all contacts or I can select contacts. Like I said before, I find it much simpler for me to sync all of them. And I'll, I'll come back and talk about why in just a minute when I talk about, hey, how now that I've synced them all, how do I use them and who am I going to reach out to? There's a feature in here. And actually, I'll, I'll touch on it right now because I don't think we covered this last time. But you'll notice, do you see how some of my contacts have a red dot and a blue dot? So one of the first things that we're told when we're, you know, when we're building a business is we want to make a list of contacts that we're going to reach out to to introduce as either a customer or as somebody that might be a, a, a good business partner in this, in this opportunity, right? And so what we're gonna do is there's not a better list when you bring on a brand new unfranchised owner into your, into your team. 
where's their most effective list to build from? It's their warm market. And that warm market of friends, of colleagues, of family, of who's my doctor, who's my dentist, who, who, who are these people that I interact with? Guess what? They live right here in your phone. And so what we've made it simple for you to do is to swipe on this page. You can see if I swipe over to the right, that'll actually flag a contact as either a hot or swipe left as a cold contact. So for me, even though I've synced all of my contacts, I'm going to spend the time to actually go through and swipe a contact as, hey, I'm going to reach out to Adam. I think he, this, you know, he would love the, the Isotonics product. And I, I, I'm going to reach out to him and swipe him as, a, as somebody that I plan to reach out to. So now as I swipe, those are going to fall into these two buckets, a hot or a cold lead. Okay. So my hot list, if I tap on that button right there, it's going to show all of the people that I've marked as hot. And those are all people that I plan to reach out to or I'm in, in the process of reaching out to. We also have this little swipe button. You see this little button right there with the little hand motion and this icon? So what I can do is I can actually tap on that. It'll give you a little tutorial of how to use this for the first time you go in. So I'm going to select got it. And now I can swipe right for a hot contact, left for a cold contact, up to skip or down to hide. Okay, so this is for me a, 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 an easier way. For me, I find it easier. I have thousands of people on my phone and I don't have time to go through a thousand. Almost people. like a dating app, JJ. Yeah, it's exactly know. right. You're going to find a hot list. I'm literally, if it was me building this business, I'm probably going to think to my mind, I'm going to write down 20 names and I'm going to search, oh, Dennis is, is going to be a home run. I could search for Dennis's name and it'll pull up, right? So that would be that would be the way I would do it. I, I'm gonna sync my all of my contacts. And then, you know, as I, if I'm searching for a specific person, I could then be able to swipe and, and flag them as a hot lead or a cold lead. And that would be a, a way to do that. So that's a tip. Again, you don't have to use this part of it, but the reason why we have hot and cold is for you to be able to manage a list of people that you potentially wanna work with. And there's not a greater list than the people that are right in your phone to be able to do that. As you bring on new people and you want to work with them and, and reaching out and you know who who who's some, who's some good contacts that we can work with, use their use the app, use their phone to basically help support that list. Now that we've done that, we've hey, talked hey, about. Can I add something in for in here? Yes. You know, today but, I was doing a, a a group with an accountability group I run, and one of the things that came up was they were saying they get very they're very nervous, like they have a chicken list of people to talk yeah. about the business. Yeah. Um, but what he talked about was going to those people you, and, and having them uh, approach them as customers. And, and what a great way to be able to approach somebody with this and say, hey, I'd really like you to, to learn about some of the products. And I'd love to send you a free gift uh, to sample out and do that. And I just wanted to state that for our unfranchised owners on, because I know we've all got those those people were a little scared to talk to and what a great way to think of them just as becoming a customer and using this app to help you do that and he ended up selling jj uh one was a 400 dollars sale that led to a 300 dollars sale wow so on his chicken list so this is our <laughs> this is the, the chicken list we turn them into eggs the golden goose this is yep. what we got Yep. And then I would, I would convert people after I have them inside of a hot list here. If I talk to Aaron and I can't get a hold of Aaron or I talk to Aaron and timing isn't right, I could move him over and say, Hey, these are people that I've talked to already. And I'm going to now either unmark him or flag him as a cold lead. You know, I could just easily swipe left or right and just maintain those people. And that's going to, that's going to be the way I can support a, kind of a hot to cold experience. So with that said, we've, we've covered the all important pull to refresh feature inside of contacts and inside of, of uh, media contacts. After I've synced my contacts for the first time, if I add somebody new to the device, to my phone contact on my phone, I have to pull down and refresh this screen, just like that says, in order for my list to be current inside of the app. Additionally, I can add a contact if I meet somebody on the go, uh, you know, I'm at I'm at, at the airport and I'm sitting next to somebody and I want to add them. Just click on this plus sign right there at the top right corner, and that's going to allow me to um, to basically add first name, phone number, email address, all that good stuff. And then I'm able to to have them and communicate with them in the app. Now, with that said, we're going to focus tonight on two different topics. We're going to focus on how do we communicate one to one of sharing content because that's one of the in the day of the life of an unfranchised business owner, you guys are going to be 
communicating and have the ability to share all of this incredible media that's available to you. So I'm gonna cover that first. And then we're gonna talk about trial pack marketing and sharing samples and how to effectively use social media to attract people to you. And then how to go about actually sending samples to people. And we'll, we'll talk about um, you know, uh, those two big things tonight. So let's now talk about the ability for me to be able to share content. As you can see, there's a, a, a variety of different types of content in the app. You can see it's broken down by different verticals or product lines that you have available to you from health and wellness products to your TLS products. You can see all of your, your motives, cosmetics. There's all kinds of great stuff that's in here by categories. You'll notice down here at the bottom, the business building resources, a lot of new content has recently been added into the app. And so if you don't see in the business building these new videos, pull down to refresh and you're gonna see all that, that new stuff pop up. So let's now talk through the process of, of, you know, as I'm finding content and I'm using it a lot. So in this case, if this is a video that I want to use, I use frequently, like daily, I use this. I can tap on this video. There's this little favorite button that's inside of every, every single type of media in, in the app. I can click favorite. If that's something that I use every day, go ahead and spend the time to favorite the tools that you use the most. And those are going to show up right up here at the top of the app. So if I scroll over, that favorited item that I just favorited now shows up right there. And so the, 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 the idea of this is let's save yourself time. Let's make you more efficient and effective and use the, these top you know, five or six things that I have at the top of the app or things that I use all the time. I get quick and easy access. So that's a tip that I would share with you. Now, as we go through the process of actually sharing a video, why do I like videos so much? Videos for me, we know how important in this business it is to create duplication uh, and, and confidence in people. So a video will do a lot of the storytelling for you. Rely on the video to tell the story, tell the message, and you're simply the messenger. If you can get good at developing rapport with Dennis, telling, inviting him, hey, if I sent you a video, would you take a look? Then I text him the video, let the video do all the storytelling for you, and now he's able to click on it, watch on it, watch it. I get prompted. He clicked on the video that he watched it. And I'm simply following up and saying, hey, Dennis, what'd you like most about that video? Or, hey, Dennis, what, what questions do you have after, after watching that video? Could you see yourself being a part of what, of what we're doing? Now you're letting the video do the storytelling for you and you're creating duplication. The other thing I would share with you guys that's super important when it comes to why would I share a tool from this app is you whether you like it or not, the person that you're interacting with is asking themselves, can I do what he is doing? Or can I do what she is doing? Are you, do you present yourself as somebody that's keeping it simple and are you duplicatable? So if you're coming to them and you're doing the whole storytelling, you're knowing everything about the science and the research and the ingredients and the compensation plan, and you're doing all of that, you're gonna be looked at as somebody that's like, oh, I'm not sure I can do that with that person's doing. And so that's why I like, the simplicity of using these amazing resources that are in the app and, and create some duplication in your business. So as I go through the process- totally agree. Go ahead. I said totally agree with you on that, JJ. And Dennis, I know you had a question a minute ago or a statement you wanted to bring up as well. Yeah, that I, you know, I, would, I wanted to do a back of the content and we'll just have to pick it up. I was going to just talk about um, the experience that I went in, I got a contact, but didn't have an address and what we have to be able to make it easier to get that address. I was just going to bring that up. Yeah, we'll cover that. We'll cover that when we get into sampling. We have a really cool tool that basically is an address collector, right? And I'll, I'll show everybody how to do that for sure. JJ, cool. can I ask one other question? You bet. You bet. If you have your contacts and you want to get rid of a con like you don't want a contact in there, is there a way to, to just to like get it out so it's off of your app yeah so so one way of doing that is under the swipe feature i can swipe up and skip or swipe down in this case it's hiding that contact. hides it okay so if, I, if i swipe down it'll actually remove them but again i, I i'm not 100 like i would use and manage my list i would highly encourage people to use this i use this every single day i would maintain your all and just you've got like in my case i have thousands of people in here yeah. I, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm only looking for targeted individuals that I'm going to work with. So I have the search filter. If I need to reach out to Dennis, I can just type in Dennis's name and it's going to pull up Dennis's contact information and I can swipe over and flag him as a hot lead right here. So I'm, I'm swiping over. Here's a hot lead. 
And then I'm going to now work with my hot list right here. And he lives inside of here under, under the bead. So that's for me how I'm going to manage that list. But you can actually on the contact itself, you can hide them if you want as well. So if you want, if you're really, you know, particular about, hey, I don't want to have thousands of people in here and I only want to see people I want to see, you can actually remove them if you want. But I, I would, I would find it easier, I think, to, um, to, to manage it a different way where you're, you know, just keep them all in there and then just move them from hot to cold if you, if you want to. And JJ, can you unhide a contact once you hide them? Under settings, you can go and, and unhide them, I believe, in settings. If you go up to the very top left corner of the app, right up there where my, my picture is, mm -hmm. I can go into there, down to settings, and inside, I'll just click on language. Let me click on settings here. And if I go down to, the, to this bottom section down here, there's a section called contacts. So yeah. my hidden and deleted list is right there. I can bring them back if I want to. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Yep. So let's go back now. We talked about some of the benefits of leveraging videos and, you know, and, and being able to share. So one-to-one -one for me is a very effective way of sharing a video is going to be through a text message. Um, we can also do this through a messaging app like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. But I'm going to show you how to text a video to a contact. And for me, I prefer texting over video because the open rates are nearly 100% open rates. Um, you know the delivery rates are going to get there too. And so sometimes with email, it's, you know, people don't look at their email very frequently. And so I'm, I'm a big fan of, of utilizing this feature right here, SMS, where I'm going to text it. So in this case, if I just select text message, I'm going to search for the person's name. I just select and search their name. And now I'm going to be able to send it. I'm just going to send it to myself. What that will do is that will then create and share a text message with them, where then upon receiving it, They'll be able to, um, you know, go through and when I select their name, it will now bring up and I can now, it'll populate a text message. So you can see here, it's pulling in and creating a text message. Now what I'm going to do is say, hey, you know, this, is a, this is a provided what we call script that's provided to you. I can delete that. I can personalize it. Hey, Jim, this is the video that we just talked about that I told you I was going to send to you. Boom, send it. So when I click send, what that's going to do is it will tell me that it was successfully shared. And now the text message comes in. So as I go into the app, I'm going to go into my text messages. Here's the text message that I just received with all the contact information, you know, or rather the, the message I just shared. And then when I click on that button to watch the video, what that's going to do is that's going to populate. And you'll notice that this little notification is triggered, meaning, hey, that contact just clicked on the link, whether that's a PDF or whether that's a video, regardless of what you share in the app, that, that, that tracking is gonna be provided to you. Remember how we talked about adding your photo into the app on, in the settings area? When you share, every time you share right now, there's a little photo of me right up there. So that person's gonna remember, oh, or, oh, I remember him, or I talked to that person. That's why you wanna have that uploaded. Now, in addition to being able to watch this video, we're actually gonna track what amount of the video they watch we will also provide details to you. If they come down here and click on this order button, it's going to take them directly in to the Isotonics you know, website to be able to actually purchase the product. And it carries with it your unfranchised owner's rep, you know, rep, rep ID where you get you know, credit for that person actually placing an order. So a couple of things I want to point out in the app itself. This idea of being able to select and share media effectively, one-to-one -one, like I just showed you, and then what we call the feed. This, in my opinion, is probably the most important feature in the app that's sometimes the most underutilized. A lot of people don't understand the benefits of the feed. And again, talking about the day in the life of an unfranchised owner, if I woke up every morning and I was actively sharing a few times a day, I would be coming into the feed every day to check on my activity hey, I shared this video. Did they click on the link? I can see I shared this, this, this shop.com overview video with Jake. I can see he clicked the link. I can see he also clicked the join button. This will show me all kinds of information. Right here, I shared this isotonic video. I can see she clicked the link. I can see what percentage of the video she watched. I can also see she clicked the order button. So there's all kinds of good insights in here where I'm way more educated now after knowing they clicked the link, what amount of the video they watched, and I know, you know how prepared they are to have a conversation with me. And so I'm gonna be coming here before I follow up. And this is what we call the activity feed. You should be living here daily. A Couple of other tips that I'll share with you while we're in this section of the app. 
there's a little folder up here. Do you see my reminders that are up here? On this screen, I can actually swipe and say I'm building the business part time, and I'm 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 working my my job, you know, throughout the day, and I have people interacting on links that I've shared with them, and I need to actually set some reminders. I can actually swipe over on the contact name and flag a reminder, and then these are people. After I swipe up there, up here in my reminders, those are people that I need to actively follow up with. So those are my reminders. I have Michelle and, and Jake there. I know they clicked on links. I know they watched the video. I know I need to follow up with them. Or in this case, they received the sample. I can swipe over. And after I talk to Jake, I can swipe over, flag that as done, and he's going to fly off the screen. So he'll fly off the screen there. And now I only have Michelle to work with. After I reach out to Michelle, I mark that as done. And she'll also fly off the screen. You can also set your own reminders with this little uh, alert button. But that process that I just shared with you of, of sharing a video through the app, letting the video do the, the storytelling for you, following up, like that feature in itself, if you were to master that experience and get really good at it and be consistent. Jim just talked about the, the, the importance of being taking action, but taking consistent action. Those, I mean, if you just use the, that feature alone in the app, you would find huge value in, in that. Dennis, did you have a quick comment? Uh, yeah, actually, it was a question that came in. What happens if you send it to me? I was impressed with the video and I forward it to Jim. Um, really good question. So what happens here, and I'm going to walk you through this experience. So say I wanted to share, share this digital education and credibility presentation video. And I was to share this with you, Dennis. If I select this link right here and select text message, what that's going to do, and I actually search your name and I'm going to send it to you. What's going to happen here is it will now generate a text message specifically to you. So what this link right here is, this link is this link right here. This long link is yep. registered to your name, Dennis. And so if you were to receive this and forward it to Jim because you loved it and you said, hey, check this out. What JJ just sent to me, even though Jim clicks on it, it's going to be recorded as Dennis's, Dennis's link just got clicked again. So. I have had contacts that have told me, oh my gosh, I, I've, I've shared the link, they got excited and they sent it to 10 people and they had tons of people clicking on it. Um, and it would just show up in the feed as the same person over and over clicking on it. And that might tell you and might be an indicator that that person had multiple people clicking on it at, you know, um, but that's, that's, some, that's some good, that's a very good question. And that's how we, we basically record that. We don't have a way of knowing if it was forwarded. And when, when the contact, um, you've talked to them, they either purchased or they either said not at this time. Is that when you swipe the contact back to cold? Or uh, yeah, it, it could be. Um, like if I wanted to manage my, my list of hot people and if I was said, hey, I talked to Aaron and it, timing wasn't right, I can actually unflag him. And then he's gonna see he's gone now. He's off the screen. And so I'm managing, these are my hot leads of people that I'm interacting with the most and my contacts that I'm interacting with. And after they're not here, I'm just gonna swipe over and move them over uh, and, and either to a cold or just unflag them as hot. The, for me, as I use this app every day, I'm gonna be mainly living in the hot list and building and always adding to this. Like this shouldn't be a one-time event where I add right. 20 names to it. This should be something oh. constantly adding to. Um, the, the most successful people you know, are, are constantly adding to that list and, and working that, you know, uh, there's one principle that I, I, I talked about last time we trained and that, that was related to a principle that I call two a day, 10 in play. And what that basically teaches, and I have good friends that have built big, big businesses by living by this principle over a long extended period of time where they're saying the two represents two new contacts every single day that I'm going to reach out to. And the 10 represents that any at any given time, I better have inside of my hot list up to 10 people that I'm actively sharing with, or else I'm not I'm not doing what I need to be doing. And so the two a day, 10 in play principle is a good one to live by. And it's, it comes back again to what Jim said about consistency. If you have two, you know, on Monday and then you only have two on Saturday, that's only four people. But if I have two that I reach to reach out to every single day, that's 14 contacts instead of four. I promise you, you're going to be more successful. Those people that live by two a day, 10 and play daily um, than those that wouldn't. And one way to keep yourself accountable is to use the feed. 
this feed right here is a good way that you can track and say, hey, how am I doing on my two-a-day tenant play? Or if I'm mentoring Dennis, if I bring you into the business and I'm mentoring you and you come to me and say, I'm really struggling, I'm not, you know, okay, let's pull up your app. Let's look at your feed. How, how, how are you doing? How many people have you reached out to? Um, this is a great place in the feed to hold yourself accountable and also hold your team accountable, you know, in, in helping them with that, you know, all important principle of consistency and activity. Activity equals income. The more active you are in sharing, the more samples you've shared, the more videos you've introduced to, to people, whether they're a customer or if, they're, if you feel like they would be a good potential business partner and you want to have them join you as an unfranchised owner, the, the, you have content in here to support that experience. Um, there's all these nutritional videos, all of the weight loss videos. If you're talking to somebody, you've got basically a targeted approach with content and we make it very simple for you to be able to share with those individuals. Another important fi figure of why I like videos, I just read this in Forbes magazine, a customer is more likely to purchase, 67% more likely to, to, to make a purchase after watching a video compared to those that hadn't watched the video. Oh. So videos for me are, it's key. What, you know, and, and it, even more important in this business of, of building a Market America business as, a, as an unfranchise owner, you, you should leverage this amazing content that's been provided to you and get familiar with it. You know, um, come down and if you're not familiar with these videos, watch them. You can see right here, if I tap on this video, if I've not seen this unfranchised business presentation before and I want to connect with it so I know, oh, I can share this video and I know Jim's going to like it, just tap on this little play button and I can watch it in the app. Um, so that those are some tips. Jim, did you have a quick comment? Yeah, I've got a comment and a question. One, I wanted to also make sure everybody saw the videos you have at the bottom, JJ, because those are all set up. So everything we're training, it, it's really right there in a lot of ways, maybe not with the, the interaction, but they can see it. But I did have a question from somebody asking, can you send uh, a group text? So could I send it to Dennis, to JJ, and to Lauren and send that out You know, with commas in there? Now, I know I'm going to give an answer on that on my own, but I want to know, is it possible to do that? That's it? a really good question. So that's actually a feature. As I just showed you the process where I generated a link for Dennis's name. Unfortunately, what the app does is it generates it for the first contact. If you were to add a multiple contacts in there, it's going to register as, hey, this link was originally created for Dennis. And so even though people, lots of people click on it, but um, if you wanted to share a link through like a, a specific WhatsApp group, for example, or if you had a group, a message, a text group or something that you communicate through, you could still create a link and do that. And if you wanted to have insights into did one person watch it or did 20 people click on the link, that would provide you, it would just show Dennis's name over okay. and over again. Um, that, so that's an important, that's an important reminder is in the future, that's actually something we want to support is, is the idea that the app could actually I could send it out to 10 people and it could know, oh, I'm going to send it to 10 different. And I, we, we, we're actually in the process of making that where a unique link would generate and be sent to 10 different people at once on your behalf. In Although, a way, AJ, uh, one of the things I would say, what I was going to add to it is, I would, for everybody watching, I would recommend doing these one at a time. I mean, we're talking about creating habits of a couple. And I, I, I you know, as JJ was answering, that's why I said, I've already got my answer in my head. Because even if I can do 10, I'm probably still gonna do one at a time uh, because I want that, this is one-to-one -one marketing at its best. Uh, yeah. And I think the app's been set up that way. Dennis, you wanted to add in? Yeah, a couple things. JJ, while I comment, can you refresh your screen, this main screen right here for me? There's a couple surprises on here I wanna to talk to. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that. So I'm gonna just refresh real quick. Right, um, but yeah, I'll, while, while that's- item in here. Okay, while that's happening, there is that plus sign that does occur after you put in one, you can plus another one. So you can, I, I think that's what it's for. That's uh, actually for you to create your own personalized videos. So if I- Okay, okay. I, I thought that was to add video. another one to it. Okay. Yeah, All if right. I want to record my own video, I can do that. Um, look at, and, <laughs> look yeah. at me telling the professor what it means. No. <laughs> hey, so um, scro scroll down. I want to show you a TLS, what we added. Uh, on TLA, we got the Nutrophysical up now. We now have the weight loss profile, which is so cool. Um, and then we have the skin analysis. 
Um, so we have three different profiles that will get people to respond and give you insight on what products and so follow-up videos can follow. So I was thrilled. Uh, Chris Pedicar did a good job in getting those up. Uh, I had right. asked him this this morning and, and he did that. Yes. I'm glad I refreshed now that you brought that to my attention. And for every all of you watching, we refresh this page frequently because that stuff like this is Daily. happening. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome. One last tip, and Jim mentioned that there's these videos down here, and, and a lot of the things that we're covering tonight are going to be highlighted here. You know, how to do like an in-depth sample training is there, how to successfully text a video, how to share through messaging apps, what the full, pull to refresh feature. So there's about seven or eight, and they're little short, two or three minute segments. And those, so those might be good for you all to watch. The messaging apps is a, for me a really useful feature. Um, I use Facebook Messenger all the time to communicate with people. And there might be times where I really want to know, did that person watch the video I shared with them? That's very powerful. We realize that's something you guys need to know. So the process of, instead of selecting the video first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the contact first. And on the contact page, I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to actually select share tool with Mark. And that's going to then generate the ability for me to then select a contact. So if I select share tool, now I can come down to this video that I want to share with him. And then that's going to generate a trackable link. I'm going to share this video. And all I have to do is select copy link in that instance. So I select contact, select the asset I want to share, select copy link. And now that copy link is a trackable link for Mark. So then I can open up and share to Facebook Messenger to Mark, and I know how, what percentage of this video he watched, and that'll all show up in my activity feed. So watch this video, guys. I don't want to go into, I don't have time to go through that tonight in great detail, but if you want to learn how to create trackable links through messaging apps, just watch this little two or three minute video, and that will, that will help you. Um, and then let's now transition into, um, let's now transition into the sampling discussion. So as as Dennis mentioned before, sampling is, a, is, is, in my opinion, one of the most powerful customer acquisition tools that's available to you. We, we have seen great success. Um, and one of the key figures when it comes to conversion, we see on average for every 10 samples that are sent out, on average, you're gonna see about three of those convert to a customer, okay? And that, could, that will range between 20 and, and up to high, as high as even 40 or 50%. If you do a little bit more um, of a high touch approach where you're following up by the phone, you're helping that person through the experience of trying to sample, that conversion percentage is going to be higher. So when it comes to sampling guys, there's an entire category in the app that's called um, the daily essential samples. And there's, as, as a reminder, the three ways to share a sample. The first way is I, as an unfranchised owner, can pay for and send a sample to a contact. The second way is, and I would use this feature right here to do that. The second way is I can actually share my sample website and invite a customer, a potential customer, to cover the shipping and handling to try the sample for free. And now they pay the $5.95. In this case, I'm paying the $5.95 in this website case. I'm encouraging my customer to cover the shipping and handling and try the product. And the third and final way is I can hand deliver samples and I can turn on these automated email sequences with the given in person feature. So before we dive into each of these three share methods, because I'm going to show you all three of them. Before we do that, I'm going to actually go through the process of teaching you how to attract people to you wanting to learn more about uh, this specific product through a social media post. Um, and I'm going to scroll over and you'll notice here that we have a variety of different sample images. And in this case, if I select one of these, you'll notice what it says here. It says, hey, I'm giving away three free samples. And it's got this beautifully designed image. You can see here, I've got, hey, I'm giving away three, three free samples. Comment below if you want to try one, right? So now what I can do is I can go in and I can actually share this post on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, or even LinkedIn is a good audience to attract people. And what, here's the thing, guys. You, a lot of people might know that you're involved with Market America, or they might know that you're involved with some health and wellness company, or that you own your own small small business, right? You, you work from home. You, you have a side, a side gig that you work. And they don't really know a lot about it. And this right here is what I call a conversation starter. 
So what this is doing is it's getting people that are, might be watching you from afar and it's getting them to take action and say, hey, I want to learn more about what, the, what you're doing. And this post right here will do that. So when I'm going to come down here to social, what this does is this is going to generate um, uh, the ability for me to write either a unique message here or I can actually use the one that the fabulous marketing department did at Market America where they had generated a beautiful image and a beautiful little caption here. And I can actually use this and I can tap use example message and that's going to now populate up here. Hey, Isotonics is one of my favorite products. I use it every day. I have a few samples here that I'm willing to share. Comment below if you want one. So the idea of what we're about to do is, is there, you know, but the more raw, the more real, the more authentic this is, tell your story. Tell people what this has done for you, but keep it short and concise. People aren't going to read a long, drawn out message, but personalize this. In fact, we force you to do that. If I went to this next step and selected copy, it would actually give me this little error message that says, hey, you have to personalize this. We don't want to have tens of thousands of people sharing this exact same mis image and this exact same caption, the algorithms of Facebook and Instagram do not like that type of content. So we make you, we make you personalize it. So you could either delete content or add to it, you know, but the idea is you want to get people commenting in your post. So I'm going to go to the next step and select copy. And now I can open up Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn. Any of those channels are right here. So I'm going to just select uh, Facebook. Facebook and Instagram would, for me, be the, the two I would suggest. You can also share this to your Facebook story. So I'm going to just share this to my news feed and watch what happens. Because I already wrote my caption here, I just select paste. Again, you're going to want to draw people to the co comment below if you want one, right? You're going to dictate, hey, comment below. And this is a phenomenal way to attract people that might be watching from afar or might be on the fence of wanting to learn more. This is a phenomenal way to get people coming to you wanting to learn more. So as they're commenting in your post, you'll now have the ability to have an audience to interact with and share samples with. So uh, also you can also share this, like if you participate in a Facebook group, a lot of you might participate in like a health and wellness group, you know, or uh, an audience where this might be a good, a good way to share. These would be, you know, something you could go away and, 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 and share through an audience by just selecting this news feed up here or the audience right there. Now, when I click post, it's just gonna tell me that that was successfully shared. And the idea is, is you might have two or three people or even, even 10, even 15, 20, even 25 people reach out to you wanting to learn more. Now, what do we do? Now we have all of these features right here where I can send a sample to the first three people, because that was my offer, I'm giving away three free samples, you know, and you're getting people to engage. So I'm gonna send the first three samples. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna tap on that. And all I have to do is come down here to select send. And now what I'm gonna do is just select add recipient. And I'm gonna just enter the name of the person I'm gonna send it to. So I'm gonna select Amy Oswald. That's who reached out on the Facebook post. I'm gonna select her name. I'm gonna select the address and confirm the address. And now she's ready to receive the sample from me. I can add as many as I want in this step. And here's another quick tip, guys. This is a big one. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select the, the sample. And as I go through and I select send, for some reason my Zoom just dropped that. When I click add recipient, this little filter button that's right up there at the top, if I tap, if you're like me, I have a whole bunch of contacts in my phone that I just have a phone number for, or maybe an email. And if I wanna show all the people in my phone that I actually have a physical address that I can send a sample to, this filter button is gonna allow me to be able to do that. It'll actually filter my addresses and show people that have a physical address that I can actually send samples to. Oh, so wow. after I do that, I can now just send the sample and that's where I, as an unfranchised owner, paid the $5.95 to send a sample to the contact, and that's how that works. Jim, did you have a quick comment? No, I was just saying that's really cool, JJ, on that. that uh, we, I, I didn't realize you could filter. I'm learning something every time I'm with yeah. you. Great. I had that conversation the other day. Yeah, <laughs> so that's how do we I learned it and I forgot it already. <laughs> yeah, and, and hey, as you're building a list of, of saying, hey, who can I send samples to, that filter button's a good one because you'll likely have couple hundred people that you have a physical address, whether you send, you know, holiday cards and that kind of stuff to, hey, you've got their addresses. Hey, let's send out some samples to those people. That's a, a great way to do it. But the other thing I was just going to point out, if you want to, if you want to preview the letter, you can click on that preview button and you'll, you can actually read what the letter says. Again, as a reminder, that letter is going to be addressed to the person receiving it from you with all your contact information on it. Okay. 
So remember that. And then the other thing that's really important, let's talk about the sample experience and the automated follow-up that the app is gonna do for you. So if you click on this drip preview button, you can actually see the sequence that's about to be sent to that individual. So I just sent a sample to Amy, and this is gonna actually show me three different, what we call events that take place during the sample experience. So the first event is the day it's ordered. Whether the customer orders it or whether I ordered it and sent it to somebody, this is gonna generate a email to a contact. The next thing that's gonna happen is the day it's shipped, another email is gonna go out. So that's likely on day two. Like day one, I place the order, it ships the next day, it's likely gonna generate, a, 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 uh, it'll go out that next day and it'll actually trigger this next event where another email is gonna get sent. And third and finally, the day it's delivered, another trigger takes place. US guest tells us, hey, Dennis just received a sample today, send him that email. And so that's what happens. So let's click on one of these, you can actually preview them. So the day it's shipped, this is gonna come in and I can actually see what's being sent to the recipient. And I can also see, be, see what's going getting sent to me, whether the notifications. So this is what being sent to the recipient. If we click on that, it's gonna show you, hey, it's gonna go address to the contact. Hey, guess what? Your good news, your sample just shipped. A little preview of the sample that they're about to experience, a little link to the website. And then my contact information, again, why we wanna have your photo uploaded in the app is every time that these emails go out, your beautiful face is gonna be right there so they know hey, who this is coming from. So that's how that works. And then if you look down here under the notification, this is gonna be sent to you in the form of an email and a push notification that's gonna say, hey, good news, the isotonic sample that was shipped to this name of, or contact has just shipped. And then now it prompts me to send follow-up text message number two to that contact. So now let me show you where that lives in the app. If we go over here to the main media page and I come down underneath the all of my sample features, Right down here, we've separated this to make it easier for you to find these important follow-ups. So again, the app under each of those events, the day it's ordered, the day it's shipped, the day it's delivered, you're gonna get prompted to take an action. And that prompted me to send follow-up text message number two. All I have to do is come over here to there's number one, there's number two. I select that. I now select the contact who I'm sending it to. I manually have to come down here to select text message. I send it to Amy because that's who I just sent the sample to. And now this is going to generate a text message. Um, and this, look how simple this is. The app's reminding you to do this. Hey, great news, your isotonics, you know, daily sample has shipped. Can't wait for you to try, you know, learn more. And now I click send. I could personalize that. I probably would if I was doing this. Hey, you know, I'd, I'd, make, I'd make it in my own words, but the template's there for you. So we make it easy for you to follow up. So that's how you're going to use these sample follow-up texts. You're going to be reminded through the experience of sending a sample to stay connected. And again, guys, it, it, the, the likelihood of an order taking place for every sample shared, if you follow those steps of follow-up text messages, one, two, three, and four, the likelihood of an order is gonna be increased dramatically. We've actually tracked this behavior. So that's how we send a sample. Let's now talk about in the same instance where I shared the social media post, my three free samples. I, I now have 10 people. That's re they're reaching out to me saying, hey, I wanna try a sample because I offered it there. What you can do is you can actually say to them, hey, I've already given away my first free sample, but good news, you can still try this sample for free. All I need you to do is cover the shipping and handling. And you can use this right here, this feature called the Isotonic Sample Website. And I can tap on that and I can now share this with them. Um, I would not recommend sharing this on Facebook directly in the comments. I would send this one-to-one. -one. You want that, that, that Facebook post to have all kinds of comments of people wanting to learn more or to try a sample. If you post this link in the comments, you're not gonna hear about a lot of people that would have gone there you know, on their own and maybe just didn't know that they ever showed interest. So get them to express interest first and then message this link individually with people and you'll have a much better success. So when they click on this link, this is gonna take them to a beautifully designed website. Again you said to them, hey, I've already given away my first three samples, but good news, you can still try it for free. Click on this link, it's gonna show them you know, a video and intermittently they're gonna be tried, uh, offered to try a sample here. All kinds of you know, features and benefits. There's testimonials in here. As you can see, there's an ingredient overview in this. I mean, this is so uh, you know, professional 
And if I click right here to try a sample, it just takes that person to a one page checkout where they enter their name, their address and their credit card details. And in that case, you just had a customer or a potential customer use your sample website to try the sample. And then those same email sequences go out. The same follow-up reminders are gonna to go to you. All of that's right there in, uh, for you. And, and, and really guys, there's, if, you, if you use these to, to attract people to you, and if you wanna get real creative, Get, if you feel comfortable doing like a Facebook Live um, or even a Facebook or Instagram story where you're actually educating people, where you're actually filling up a drink, you're pouring in the powder, you're talking about, hey, I use this every morning when I wake up, I take a drink, I tell people what it tastes like, and then I could hold up one of the samples that I have and say, guys, if you want one of these, let me know. Use If you feel comfortable doing that, do it. Um, that's a great way. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just use one of these little templates that we've provided to you. So you've got a couple of options that, that, that you can use. Dennis, did you have a quick comment? Yeah, uh, JJ, what's been your experiences? How, what is the frequency, um, uh, you know, that you don't become weird uh, on social media? Super good story. Yourself? So here's a template that I would, I recommend using for, so it's all about, if you post too frequently about, about the business or about the products, you're gonna exhaust your audience right. where they won't wanna be interested in following you. And so here's the ratio of what I teach that's the most successful. And if you wanna write these down, guys, it's a principle called 10, four, and one. So 10, four, one, what the, if you add those up, 10 plus four plus one is 15 posts. And I'm gonna just quickly describe what I believe would be the type of posts in those, ten, in those categories, a 10 post, a four post, and a one. So the 10 represent, and this would probably be in a two week period of time. So I'm gonna post once a day and I have 15 posts over a two week period of time. So the 10 represent the everyday um, me. What am I up to? What are my interests? I'm, what movies have I gone to? What am I doing with my kids? What am I doing on vacation? What, what, are, what, are, what are my interests? You so know, and, and that's a way for you to brand yourself at that in that opportunity but people need to just stay connected to you that's what they care about is what you're up to and what you're doing and what you like and that kind of stuff so those are just personal posts of about you the four is where this gets really interested interesting these are what i call indirect posts about market america where this can be generic information you see what i just did i just indirectly posted about my market America business because I, I took advantage of the tax savings that you know I, I can I can I can realize. Or another example of of a of a, of a post would be uh, I went um, to the gym and I here's my favorite drink. I don't mention it by name, but inside of my inside of my water bottle I have my favorite drink. You know, and that's another. What people might ask you, well, what is that? That's a that's a generic post, right? You know, it's a way for you to still brand yourself. You know, as your lifestyle, I like to work out. I like to be healthy. I like to eat nutrition, you know, nutritious foods. And then the last one is the, so that's the four. And then the last one is what I call a power post. That's where it's specific to Market America. That's specific to this sample that I'm offering. That's specific to this event that I'm attending, you know, the, the, the upcoming convention and it's Market America, you know, you know, we used to post being at the event, now it's a post of, I'm taking a screenshot of my virtual meeting that I'm attending and, um, and I'm sharing that. So that's an idea of when you say about, what's the ratio, 10, four, one, you're gonna sprinkle in the four and the one inside of your other 10. And that's a good way to kind of, a, of what I call a best practice to not overwhelm your audience with too much information, sprinkle it in you know, strategically from time to time. And that's a good way to do that. Excellent. All right, let's now go in and let's talk about, um, we talked about the two ways to share. I pay for it or a, a potential customer pays for it. Now, this is your hand delivered. I, I want to encourage everyone to buy a 10-pack from unfranchisemarketing.com and you can order a 10-pack and we want, and, and this is where I, I call it armed and dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to carry this thing around in my car. If you're a woman, you've got some in your purse and I am armed and dangerous at all times because whether it's the lady that's cutting my hair or whether it's the guy that I'm working out to in the gym and he's asking me what's inside my water bottle, I'm gonna say, hey, guess what? I've got a sample right here I can give you. Those are some ideas of why you wanna have these on hand. These ones that you're buying in 10 pack aren't meant to ship out. We'll do that for you. It's less expensive for us to handle that for you. These ones are meant to give away in your community, your neighbor, your family, 
your, your, the hairstylist, whoever it might be, that's how you're going to use those. And then all you have to do is turn on this given in person automated sequence by just coming down here and entering their email. And that's going to allow you to let the app send the follow-ups to that person and the reminders to follow up with that person. And that these kind of show you the, the sequence of day one, day three, day five, and day seven of what's being sent to that person. So for me, again, sampling is a, is a, a phenomenal way to acquire customers and, you know, social media is, is um, a huge blessing for all of us if we use it correctly. And, and this is a great way to, um, you know, attract some people to want to learn more to the offer of a simple sample. And so if you haven't shared this post, that's probably the next call to action that I'm going to share with you. And it's, it's I've, I just talked about it. I don't want to confuse you because I just shared the 10 for one principle of social media and, and the frequency of sharing. But I now I'm going to end with another one. It's called the 10 five one. So the 10 and the five and the one, what do those represent? The one is that power post that I told you about. The one is going to be, hey, I want to encourage all of you to either do a host, a, a Facebook live where you tell about what isotonics is, why you drink it, and then offer a sample. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing a Facebook live, simply go into the app and share one of these two posts. And, and that's a great way to get people to reach out to you wanting to learn more. So that's what the, that's the first part of the challenge is to, is to do the one. The five represents that I want you sharing at least five samples that you as an unfranchised owner are willing to share, okay? Where you're gonna go down in this feature right here and you're gonna send out five samples within the next 24 hours and you're gonna attract those people and you're likely gonna have two or three people become a customer. It's gonna more than pay for itself and you start to do the math. You know, I have, I've, I've talked to leaders that have done this and they've said, hey, so if I do 10 samples, that's gonna equal three or four customers. If I do 100 samples, that's going to equal 30 or 40 customers. You start to do the math and start to see the, the way that, that 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 can impact your business. It's absolutely huge. So that's what the five represents. And then finally, the 10. The 10 is get your 10 pack from unfranchised, uh, your, your unfranchised website and order a 10 pack so that you can hand deliver them in your community. And that's what the 10, 5, 1 are. And like I said, you'll use the, 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 this power post of offering a sample you know, in your circle of influence on social media, and you'll get people coming to you, I promise. If you do that in authentically, you know, um, you know, and be real and authentic when you do that, you'll have great success in, in offering samples. And so, um, guys, this is a quick overview on, on the sampling discussion. We're super <laughs> excited. If you could see what's coming, I mean, this is the great thing about it is this is just the beginning. And if you can start to master this incredible product of, of the daily essentials that's available to you. Are you kidding me? Three little sample sticks in there. Some of these ideas from a marketing perspective are, you know, when it comes to why people buy samples, we've all been to Costco. You've all tried that sample and you've all felt that obligation to give back and reciprocate in the form of a purchase. This is real. I mean, it's, when it comes to the psychology of sampling, people that receive something for free from you. And if you, if you provide real value and you educate them, um, it, you're, you're going to see it be a really great way to bring in new, new people into your, um, into your team. And so um, guys, and then remember, I just think my last thought is just to remember the day in the life of an unfranchised owner is sending samples from this, but it's also sending two or three videos to contacts on a daily basis, um, whether it's supporting a customer, an existing customer, whether somebody comes to you and they have a question about the compensation plan, Great, I can use the, the, my unfranchised marketing app to send a, a compensation plan to my, my team member to educate them. That's how you're gonna create the duplication. But remember that activity equals income, that two a day, 10 in play principle that I taught you about, two new contacts every single day and up to 10 people that I'm working with. If you do that over a 90 day span, it will completely change your business. I promise you, if you come back to me and say, I lived by the two a day, 10 in play for 90 days, it will completely transform your business. And if you teach your team to do the same thing, use the app to create that activity or use the videos to create the duplication. Um, th this is a phenomenal tool. And like you said, Jim, it's only $12 for the year. You know, that some people pay hundreds of dollars for something like this. And this is an incredible value that Market America is providing you only a dollar a month. You pay 12 bucks and you get access to this. You're spending that on 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 two mornings at, at uh, Starbucks to get whatever you're getting at those you know for breakfast. So use use the app. You guys will find it a huge blessing. 
and start simple. That's the last thing I'll just share with you is just start simple. Send a text to a video, you know, to a contact, send a sample. And I promise you, you do it once and you'll find it super easy uh, to be able to do it. You guys mentioned it at the beginning. Hey, if you two can do this, Anyone can do it. I mean, look at you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Active <laughs> businesses. That's what we've been we've been proving that to people out, for twenty so. years, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, JJ. I appreciate that. Oh wow. Uh, Dennis, let's remind everyone that the replay from two weeks ago is on Market America's YouTube station. Some people have asked about that, and so this one will come out probably in a couple of days as well. So if things were moving fast. You can watch it there. You can also actually go to Market America's Facebook page and the live feed was there. Uh, Dennis put that on as we started. So that would be there uh, to replay as well. I, I had a couple questions. Uh, someone asked about how are the 10 packs personalized? And the 10 packs are really not personalized. They come, you know, and you get them. But if you put it in with the app that you've given it out to somebody, then the personalized emails will still come out uh, to do that. So that's a key way to, to do that uh, as you, you take a look at it. And someone else asked, how often do we send these out? You know, is it every two weeks, the, the, the free samples? And that's really up to you. If you do it at once every two weeks, is what JJ had talked about. It could be once a month. You got to get a feel for your viewing audience uh, on your social media. And, and your audience you too, like I would, I would choose, you know, Facebook, you know, as as one audience. Instagram's another audience, and maybe you could stagger those. LinkedIn. I've had, I've talked to tons of people that have had great success on LinkedIn, where you might be talking about, hey, this gets me through the day. I use this to get me through the day and these new products that we're about to launch in sample form use, you know, use those through all of those different channels. Um, you know, that, that's another tip that I would share with you for sure. Okay, real quick to everybody, we're going to be back here in two weeks on the 22nd, we'll go through the chat. Uh, and look at any of the questions we did not answer. Uh, what I want to do is just finish up by giving a few code numbers on how you can get this ordered and also the 10 packs. JJ, you know what? I'm going to have to have you evaluate the business. I mean, you've got this down pretty good. I hate to see it go to waste, my friend. Uh, so, so thank you once again for being here with us. We are just so so fortunate to have you. Uh, and that's very, very important to all of us. So thank you. And uh, one thing I do want to ask you, JJ, uh, as we go forward here, what happens if somebody has like an Android? I know we were working off of an Apple iPhone today. Yeah. Um, it, it's not going to look exactly the same, but it'll be close. But if somebody has a difficulty, should they text your support uh, area in the settings or yeah i mean there, there won't be a huge difference in fact that's one of the, the the things that i think is really great about our product is we actually have two separate teams inside of our company that actually one that focuses on the ios platform and one that supports the android platform and um you know and for us you know globally there's it's about half and half of what we're seeing out there and so the, the Android experience is meant to be an interface that you're used to using on an Android device. And you might see that the buttons, all the same buttons are there. Everything I just covered, it should be very intuitive. You might just see right. that the, the settings might be instead of in the left top right corner, it might be on the other side. And so I use an iPhone and that's what I, I showed tonight. But really right. for you Android users, it, it should be very, very similar. 90, 98% close to what I showed you tonight. There, there might just be a few nuances that might be more in line with your line of thinking of how you use your, your, your phone. Right, and, and don't be afraid team to go up to your senior partners or go to your, I actually, if you have children, they'll probably be able to help us too <laughs> uh, when we get stuck on what's going on. Again, the app is amazing. It's got a great tracking system, the hot and cold side of the listing. Uh, the personal samples when we're sending them out, that personal letter from you, uh, shareable product content. I mean, the videos, everything, the individual samplings, the free samplings opportunity, a big package for a dollar a month, $12 for the year, folks. All of that's here for you once again for only $12 a year or a dollar a month. So that's important. Uh, how do I get the app? 
Please write down the code number 5510. In fact, any new unfranchised owner that you bring in the business, this should be part of their registration from day one. It's a quick way to get out of the gate. And if they come in knowing that this is a way to manage their business all on that mobile phone. And remember, JJ was headed towards it, but we ran out of time. You can get to your unfranchise dot com back office from here too so don't forget that uh you'll just get the code you'll pay for the 12 dollars for the entire year you'll receive the download and you install the app and use your unfranchised.com uh, uh rep id and your password uh, it is the total package and it's only going to get better uh, jim what do you think about this 10 pack bv and all uh, well, I love anything with BV. You know that, Dennis. And uh, 10 of these for $69.95, 40 BV, very generous, code 6380. Great to be able to hand out uh, as we talk about. And guys, as Dennis said earlier, you're going to be running into more and more people. I know we've been shut in for a long time, but there's more and more activity starting to happen. Be ready and have these ready to go right away. I've always got mine with me wherever I go just so I have it ready to hand out to someone. Beautiful. Okay, team. Well, we're happy to host you tonight. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. JJ, thank you so much. Jim, as always, a pleasure. We'll see you in the morning. All right, so good evening. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. everybody. Have a good night. Uh, yeah. Take care. Ten five one. that's your challenge in the there next two weeks. All right. Have a great evening, everyone. See ya.